be. Let's get her done. I only got a fucking bar left. Oh, okay. Now it's fucking business time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Are you going to bring a charger? You want a charger? No, I'm on my fucking lighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, if you see, I hook it up to my computer, I charge it. I'm going to watch them over at the lane without setting up. That's fucking late. Yeah, right after I think it was just both of them. You gotta face the last down, face 
Once you guys start that run to the end with the 215, there was no turning back. You, you just got to get that, just go. You're on the defensive, and something's going to happen. You know what I mean? A schoolboy, like, shit, you're going to talk. So just do something. Yes, yeah, dude, don't fucking. You got to fucking take, I'm going to schoolboy you now. Schoolboy the motherfucker. Like that thing when he jumped over you. I thought that's the first second I looked at him, and I went, you're taking your life in your own hands doing it. Jumping over you and hoping you don't. You know, you, but you got to be ready for something. I told you the fucking WWF show with Dutch Mantel and uh, uh, it was um, maybe Superstars or something like that. Dutch Mantel and Tracy Smothers. They were like on the CWWF show. Yeah. Wired or something retarded. And they had this angle where. Dutch Mantel has been the manager the whole time, Uncle Zebakai or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tracy Smothers is doing jobs with Freddie Joe Floyd, and, and Dutch Mantel's going to get mad and shout and, and say, you can't beat me. I give you one minute, you couldn't beat me. So then Tracy Smothers, I told you, beat me three times in one minute. Yeah. There was nothing planned. All it was was, Dutch goes, I'll jump you, I'll shoot you in, hit me with this, and then you got to hit me two other times. Just come up with something. Yeah. And it worked too good. They stopped him from doing anything. He got in trouble for doing too much, right? That's how good it was. But it wasn't like, beat him three times in a minute. That was their thing going in. But it wasn't, and then I'm going to turn this way, and you're going to do this. It started with a cross body. He's got the clothesline, cross body. He kicked him, the one, two, three, and kicked him off. And then he gets hit with one thing, and then he gets hit with another thing. There was no plan, though. Yeah. It was just give me two of the things. And they rolled right into him. I was just hoping you'd get back to the middle. Once you like stepped over here, I was like. Remember, I told you, you gotta get to the middle. Everything. It's what happened. Oh. Yeah, I knew you were lost. I was like, if you just get back to the middle, I can hear you. Fix it. Fix it. Oh. Worst case scenario, you bend over and you get sunset flip. So you can't think on the fly that you're doomed. When stuff yeah. when you're going, what, what's going to happen? Well, uh, let's see your Yeah. Uh, Look at Japan. That was one of the best shit that ever happened. And with one guy spoke Japanese, and the Americans spoke English, right? And hopefully the referees spoke English and Japanese, so if something had, you know, but it was never done. Like that. Never done. Jerry, Hakushi, one of them, one of them. Both of them. Relay this, man, hopefully. And uh, the other guy's name. S.A. Rios. Yeah? Can't say a word yet. Oh, man, I forgot about that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. S.A. Rios. S.A. Rios. You made it in the video game. Before, I remember that. All right, baby, let's pick that one up. It's all me. Feel better, Randy. Oh, John. Just keep moving to the middle. Keep moving. Don't fucking act like uh oh. Worst case scenario, bend over. Oh, that's the way. Oh, instead of. Josh yeah. Stepping out. I don't know what's going on. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. I don't know what you're going to do here. Josh, where's the playbook, yeah? Yeah. Is there even that shit? Hey John, it's redemption time. It is redemption. Ah, uh, I think you threw me out the first one. Yeah. <laughs> don't flip and then you flip and I'm like, oh, okay. Is that what? Well, usually that's what I do.
Oh God! You you like this? Like stop you? That was funny. Oh, you come on! Real good. Because John is sitting there, and it's like if you're a kid falling, like you send a video, and the guy goes, "I was gonna hold up this other seventy pound dude with my right hand." <laughs> Hey, John! Hey, John! Oh, thank you, John! God, that was funny! God, no, it'll be up there! Huh? It'll be up there! <laughs> you held on! Your feet are dead! It was like one of those, uh, what's that thing called where you walk across that bridge thing? Yeah, you walk across the road bridge, bridge yeah. And you go, <laughs> you just held on, like, I ain't going down! I ain't crashed on this thing! That was good, you guys. Let's fix this. Yeah, fucking, let's go. John, every uh, kick, remember, like it's the last kick, the best one you're gonna fucking throw, right? Impression of excitement. We keep running out of time. We keep wanting to throw into the go behind and drop it. But you can. I would throw that in before the boot sunset flip thing. Okay. Um, because that sets the stage for. Oh, now it's the tide starting to turn, and you take a drop kick, right? Go for the pin, and I stay down. Um, no, no, you hit it with the drop kick, but you guys both stay down with the double knockout. Oh, okay. okay. You still gotta beat him up though. Like, and then you can whatever, come with the punch, block it. All you gotta do is count on the block at one time. Boom, finally, blast you. Again, flash you. You go back to the corner, switch, wham against the corner, boom, you're off. You keep catching me off, keep catching me off. Keep, you know what I'm saying? How do we go with the go off? Right out of the, uh, Nope, I would have, uh, hard corner, kicking, kicking, kicking around, kicking around. Remember like I told you, like Josh did with you? Instead of moving right to the corner on this one, moving. Yep, right there. Bam. Go behind, drop kick. That's your double knockout. Got it. That makes sense. I get up. Low, low, top, and bone. Yep. Block. Bang. Bang. Yep. Boom. And then just busting the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Like if something gets messed up and he runs to one side to the other, it doesn't matter. Just turn, turn, oh, yeah. right? One deer in the headlight. Yep. <laughs> what do I do? Is it come with instructions? What's that? I'm like, well, I've seen worse. I have seen worse. Yes. <laughs> at least I'm not as bad as him. Like Robert. I set the bar so high for myself that when I don't reach it, oh, because you normally do. <laughs> oh, you're 5'5, five five, dude. Okay, listen, neither of us are reaching too many bars. Yeah. Oh. I usually reach. Wow, those must have some fucking big expectations. Yeah, then reach for the. Alright, baby. It was like one of those days that Sunday with them where you're trying to get up, you're trying to pull two hours out of them. And oh, yeah, you hit like, I hit like an hour and 15, and you just, they just, boom! You know what I mean? Like, and you see in the face, you're just like, oh, uh, come on, you guys. You know? Over. It is over DW. What do you do? I'd be pissed if I was looking forward to something short of time out of 15. Eight, Wouldn't you think that? Yeah. There's nothing that would stop you. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. If this, in reality, there, I told him at 15, I said, you got to get in the gym. You're a small guy. I'm a small guy. <laughs> now, no one told me at 15 to work out. I figured it out, but I had no clue, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Go. Get in the gym. Work out, get a, you know what I mean, and fucking uh, got all sudden here, and I go, that's the first guy that that's happened. I've had guys do it before, but they never, you never see him at 18. And this guy showed up in good shape, and you're like, wow. Like I 
and then just boom. You just realize they, it's not what they thought they were going to be. And instead of going, well, fuck, I'm going to try, it was, oh, I'll just stop. You know, I when I got frustrated, I Prove that. What do you do? You know what I mean? You got it. Knock that shit out. Yep. Instead of like, ah, fuck. It's so easy to be like, ah, fuck. Yeah. Just fought up and I didn't even know where to begin. I was like, yeah. There was no wrestling in Coco. I was like, I don't have internet. That was before the internet was huge. Anyways, like, I don't even know how you contact these people. No. Where do you start? Yep. So between 15 and like college and 18, I was just sitting around like, I don't know what to do. Yeah.
and the first one was too fast. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you could tell, like, I couldn't see right, and I didn't know what happened. And then I saw, it. yeah, that was the problem. Mm. Oh. You gotta throw that haymaker at it. Oh. No, but I'm swinging. You gotta come wide. Oh. Bam. Yep. He hits the shoulder, you hit his shoulder. Ah. Boom. Yep. Ah. Because oh, so you stand in there. And, exactly. You hit that corner first, and then you end up in the corner. Oh. You gotta think, you throwing the punches is, is giving him the okay to throw the punches back. Yeah, that first one was just. But he blocked it. Good like way, low, and I still getting Yeah. And he just threw it around my Luckily. And if he ain't coming up, you bring him up. You grab him and throw his head up and block. You gotta tell him. One, two. One, two is actually hitting him. So if I hit you, I say one, two, what I mean. Yeah, one, two. One, two. Okay. That's if you're gonna trade punches. What you can do that too. You know what I mean? But for him to throw the punches at you, you've got to fucking get it for three, three shots leaped in on him. You know what I mean? They used to say if you had a hammer and you hit the baby face nine times with a hammer, when you drop that hammer, the baby face picks it up, he want to see him hit you ten, one more. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, if you get the hammer, and you drop it, and he starts hitting you, then he's the heel. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta fuck it. Bam, bam, bam. When he throws punches, they go, fuck yeah, hit him back. Yep. Bam! Every time he blocks a punch, you gotta, you're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up for the, uh... Fucker just blocked my punch? No, you're setting yourself up to where the next move is. You know what I mean? Man. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. I was over here throwing yeah, you them. Did. They thought you would. Oh yeah, dude. Bouncy <laughs> <laughs> ball. Jumped on that good three plane thing. Boxes. <laughs> Hell up the wall. Oh. Those are the best arm breaks that have been taken a long you know, time. You see, I'm going for his shoulder. It's probably like all the other ones, like going down here. Yeah, you, you will hear, and you put this hand on his other shoulder. Oh, and you're going straight over. Over, baby. That's what it is.